Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 9th. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, okay? That means that this reading may not be for you. I have a lot of people asking me about private readings. No, I'm not doing private readings at this time. Sending me an email is not going to change the situation. So, yeah, I'm not doing private readings right now. I only got three more decks for sale. If you want one, you better get it now. I don't know when I'm going to order more. Um, so, yeah. Um, what else? What else did I need to answer? There was something else, but I can't remember what it was. I already did a daily, but... My shirt did not cooperate, and I laughed through the whole thing. It was all downloaded. It's downloaded now, 100%, but I'm sure there are some people that would not care to see, <laughs> even though I thought it was pretty funny. Um, we literally had one uh, just about come out. So what do we got? What do we got? So i got to be watching these before I release them by the looks of things. <clears throat> but... What do we have for a message today? Page of Cups. Page of Cups. That is a welcome message of love, right? This is a happy news, good news. Um, we got some good news that is coming. Happy news. Offer, invite, flirting. Emperor, Emperor. So this is somebody that has made some sort of decision. We have a decision maker. The Emperor is um, somebody that is very stable, solid, secure, structured, organized. This is a planner, somebody that makes a decision that is best for everybody involved. We have something to do with father and child as well. We could be dealing with a father or just this is a very masculine energy that is expressing feelings, maybe opening the heart. Right next to the page of cups. Looks like this emperor is making a heartfelt decision. Okay. <clears throat> Knight of Wands reversed. Very impulsive. Extremely impulsive. Eight of Pentacles. Putting in a lot of effort. Working really, really hard. Trying to do something. Um, this person, there's no stopping this person. This person has a strong desire to do something. Their intuition is telling them to do something. They're going to be putting in a lot of effort, this emperor. Now, this emperor could be anybody. It's a person that is in a very powerful position. This person uh, is a warrior of some sort, very protective. This is a protector of some sort. Doing something, I don't know, this is impulsive. He's going to be doing something. He's taking action right now. This emperor is taking action. And this emperor, typically I see the emperor as an Aries or a Taurus. Somebody that is very strong. Very, It's all about stability. This is somebody that is very wise. It looks like, it looks like this is a definite decision this is expressing feelings offer or an invite this emperor is making a decision in regards to what their heart wants two of cups reverse right underneath so this is uh, i don't know if there's a breakup or a separation here this is this because somebody may be hearing the words no there's no Compatibility, this could be an argument. <sighs> Emperor is making a decision about a partnership. They may have another love or another opportunity for love. Okay. 
Four of Cups reversed. That is seizing a new opportunity. Taking it. I see an opportunity for love and I'm taking it. Three of Pentacles. Working together with somebody else. This is togetherness. This is teamwork. It is mutual respect. Two of Pentacles reversed. This is uh, making a decision to let something go that is unstable of some sort. We have somebody here that has overcommitted themselves and they're having a hard time. They've been struggling, so now they're saying goodbye. They're saying goodbye to something that is unbalanced. There, there's, a, there's another person here. And they're taking the new opportunity. I feel like they're going to be telling a partner fiercely. It's like, it's just, it's very... What's the word for it? No. Nope. I'm not going in that direction. No, I'm not doing that. The answer is no. Nope. I'm not doing that. I think we have somebody here that is is really... It's almost like they're doing paperwork or something like that. They're doing paperwork or they're they're learning some new skills. They see they they see an opportunity for emotional fulfillment that they have missed or they have ignored or they didn't want it in the past. Now they want it. They're taking it. This is love. It may, it may have something to do with father and child. It may also have to do with a man and a new love. This is and the emperor is a masculine, and I know a lot of people. You know, we got all these women that want to be the man, and I, I know it's a new world and all that, but whatever. We have a very masculine energy that is acting from the heart in regards to a partnership where there's no staying power, there's no desire, there's no passion, there's no excitement, and they're going to be putting in effort to something that where there will be mutual respect, where they, you know, don't have to play games. They don't have to go back and forth. Anyway, I do believe we have an emperor that is making a decision. This person is making a heartfelt decision based on facts. Getting things in order. Maybe working with a team to... Uh, break free from something because this eight of cups is leaving something behind it feels like we have an emperor that is is making plans you know they're 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 communicating with the three of pentacles that's they're communicating with people to uh protect i don't know if they're protecting a lover or they're protecting their child it's something about protection the emperor is a protector Four of Cups Reverse is seizing a new opportunity, working together with someone else, letting go of something that has been weighing them down, saying goodbye, saying goodbye to something that is emotionally unfulfilling and putting in effort into something else. We have, an, and whether it's a man or a woman, we have a masculine energy that is taking charge, okay? And you can, I mean, male or female, right? This is, we all have it in us, masculine and feminine. So this is a masculine energy. I don't like to say that. I hate it because I'm, I'm feminine. I don't want to hear any comments below trying to explain it to me. That's what I got for you. I listen to my gut. I listen to my intuition. I don't care what you got to say. Not one word. We have somebody that is saying goodbye to something that is emotionally unfulfilling. It's caused a lot of chaos in their lives. They're working with somebody else and they're going to be putting in more effort with the new opportunity or with whatever it is that their heart is telling them to do. There is a partnership that they have been in that is not compatible. They've bitten off more than they can chew. I feel like this partner um, 
has controlled them. This partner has controlled them. This partner has led them in the wrong direction. And now this partner is still trying to uh, control. I feel like this partner is still trying to control. And I feel like this emperor is going to say, no, I'm working on something else. I'm, I'm doing something else. I'm, so yeah, I feel like we have somebody here that is making a decision based on their intuition, based on their gut, based on their heart and facts as well. Because the emperor uses experience and has a lot of wisdom you know this is somebody that is a warrior that is a protector that protects their family their children an emperor typically protects their children over a partner most of the time um and that's interesting and i and it's funny that i say that emperor father child partnership so I think you know I don't know what's going on here but I think we have a, a masculine fatherly type of energy but this is a protector this is a protector whether it's a father or not this is somebody that is protecting somebody they want to protect somebody but there's a partnership that is unbalanced that it feels like we have a player here that is playing on this person's emotions. I feel like this individual has ignored something. They've ignored their intuition. They've ignored their heart. They've ignored their own needs because of a partnership. But now they're taking extremely fast action and they're putting in effort a lot of effort to move in another direction. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of good news that is coming from this emperor. Um, this could be a boss, it could be a ruler, it could be a judge that is, I don't know if there's somebody here that is protecting a child. This is a ruling, right? The emperor is a ruler. This is somebody that is making a judgment call, right? They're making a, a, a decision. They're using their intuition. There's going to be a separation with the two of cups reversed. I feel like there's a team involved as well. Team of people that are involved. We have somebody here that is reckless. This person is reckless. This person is out of control. They engage in bad behavior. They're unbalanced. They are, it almost feels like it's a dangerous situation. I feel like we have somebody here that has engaged in something that is, is reckless with the Knight of Wands reverse. That's reckless behavior. It could be a sudden departure. It could also be a sudden arrival. Somebody could suddenly arrive at somebody's work or at their home or something like that with the Knight of Wands reversed next to the Eight of Pentacles. It's like somebody is just, they're doing something. They're in, in their, they've got, they're doing something. They're creating something. They're making something. They're doing something. And there's an arrival here. There is an arrival. Five of Wands on the bottom, that is a conflict. It is a competition. It is strife. It is drama. Get prepared for some drama. Get prepared for this, for some strife. We, we have a strong competition here. This is a competitor. It is a competitor. We have somebody here that is... And now the Emperor is battle ready. This is somebody that is ready to fight. They're ready to do whatever they have to do. They don't have any fear. This is somebody that doesn't have any fear. Somebody is uh, saying goodbye, seriously. Or they're, or they're taking somebody away or something like that. Maybe they're taking somebody away from the competition. This is a strong competition. This is a battle. This is a, there's a lot of players involved here. A decision is being made in regards to the heart, 
and there is a separation. It is very sudden, sudden departure from a partnership that where there's no love, okay? There ain't no love there, and there's another opportunity for love. There is. There's a third party situation here that has been going on. A choice is definitely being made. Eight of Pentacles putting in a lot of effort, walking away and putting in a lot of effort. Okay, that's what we got here. That is walking away and putting in a lot of work, you know, working really hard to create something. We have an individual here that is skilled. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Emperor. This is a skilled individual that has a lot of life experience that has some sort of uh, vision, okay? And it's intuitive as well. They're going to be expressing feelings. There's a message that is coming from this person. It could be an offer or an invite. They want the opportunity. They may be worried about the competition. Ooh, don't you like it when I do that? The lovers, unexpected choice in love. So this is a choice in love, a choice between two lovers, right? So yeah, we have a choice here. It's right next to two of cups reverse. We have somebody here that is making another choice. They are. This is, this is, this is a, uh, perfect match. We have an emperor that is making a choice. They're using their intuition. They're following their heart. This is a potential soulmate. It is definitely unexpected. I see that with the knight of wands as well. I feel like there's an opportunity for mutual respect here with the lovers and the three of pentacles where there will be mutual respect and there's no need to be ashamed of anything. There's no shame. There's no reason to be ashamed. You can just be yourself. This is a sudden arrival, sudden departure, or a sudden message from a potential soulmate that wants to put in a lot of effort. This person's going to be putting in effort. They're walking away from an unbalanced partnership that they overcommitted themselves to blindly. This person went into it with their eyes closed. Their eyes are closed. They went into a partnership with their eyes closed. And they've been discontent for some time. But it feels like now they've been, it feels like now they're wide awake. Seven of Pentacles, reverse, unrealistic, dissatisfied. This is a dead end. There's no growth. It's time to go. It's time to relocate. There could be a relocation on the horizon, especially with the Eight of Cups. Somebody could be relocating. Eights are change. We have two eights right together. Change. This is a change. Now. The time is now. The time is now. So, yeah, I believe that we have two people that are coming together that are soulmates. A decision is being made. Um, it has to do with the heart. Okay. Um, a separation from a false contract or a false partnership that, you know, was jumped into uh, stupidly. The Knight of Wands. This was somebody jumped into something with their eyes closed. Okay. They did. You see their eyes are closed right there. This is like they got on board. They got into something with their eyes closed. They didn't look deep. You know, they jumped into it because... Why? Because there was some sort of money involved. We get the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles right there. There was some. They may have been suffering financially. They needed some financial help, so they jumped into this partnership. And well, ain't that one hell of a life lesson? Anyhow, I do believe uh, we have an individual that is making a decision based on their intuition. They are following their heart towards you know a new union that lovers where there will be mutual respect in communication and looks like there's a strong uh magnetic pull there's a strong uh attraction to this very strong attraction somebody is is highly attracted to this partner and I don't think there's any stopping them from going I feel like the time is now and I feel like there's a there's definitely a departure okay there's the last card down there at the end this is goodbye. It is goodbye. Headed towards wish fulfillment because the next card is the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. Uh, so, so we have somebody here that's leaving behind, you know, uh, 
an illusion because what becomes before the eight of cups is the seven of cups. It's because they have another choice. And the other choice is a better match. So yeah, that is what I got. Good luck.